Welcome to our exploration of Friedrich Nietzsche's philosophy and its profound influence on self-discovery in psychology. Friedrich Nietzsche, the enigmatic and influential 19th century philosopher, is often associated with his provocative ideas about morality, the will to power, and the eternal recurrence. However, his philosophical insights also provide a unique framework for understanding and navigating the complex terrain of the human psyche. In this video, we delve into Nietzsche's philosophy as a guide to self-discovery in psychology, exploring how his ideas challenge traditional notions of good and evil and illuminate the path to a deeper understanding of the self. the heart of Nietzsche's philosophy is a radical critique of traditional morality. He argued that conventional moral systems, such as Judeo-Christian ethics, suppress individual creativity and self-expression. Nietzsche famously proclaimed, God is dead, signaling the decline of religious authority and the need for new values. In the realm of psychology, this critique challenges individuals to question the moral frameworks that shape their self-identities and explore the origins of their values. Nietzsche's concept of the will to power suggests that humans are driven by a fundamental desire to assert and enhance their own existence. In psychology, this idea translates into a call for self-empowerment and self-discovery. Nietzsche believed that individuals must recognize and harness their inner drives, embracing challenges and adversity as opportunities for growth. By doing so, individuals can achieve self-overcoming, transcending limitations and evolving into more authentic versions of themselves. Self-discovery often requires deep introspection and self-reflection. Nietzsche encouraged individuals to critically examine their thoughts, emotions, and motivations. This process, he believed, could reveal hidden aspects of the self and help individuals overcome the limitations of their current identities. In psychology, Nietzsche's approach can be seen as an early precursor to techniques like cognitive behavioral therapy and mindfulness, which emphasize self-awareness and personal growth. One of Nietzsche's most provocative ideas is the notion of beyond good and evil. He argued that conventional moral distinctions are often arbitrary and limiting. Instead, he encouraged individuals to embrace moral ambiguity and cultivate their own values based on their unique life experiences. In psychology, this perspective challenges individuals to confront the complexities of their own moral frameworks and consider alternative perspectives. It opens the door to a more nuanced understanding of human behavior and motivation. Nietzsche's concept of the eternal recurrence poses a thought experiment in which one must imagine that life will repeat itself infinitely. This notion challenges individuals to live each moment authentically, making choices that they would willingly repeat for all eternity. In the realm of psychology, this concept encourages individuals to reflect on their life choices and actions. It prompts questions about the authenticity of one's life path and whether it aligns with the true desires and values. Nietzsche's ideas have left an indelible mark on the development of existential psychology. Existential psychologists like Viktor Frankl and Rollo May drew inspiration from Nietzsche's emphasis on individual responsibility, meaning-making, and the search for authenticity. They integrated these concepts into their therapeutic approaches, highlighting the importance of self-discovery as a path to psychological well-being. Nietzsche also grappled with the problem of nihilism, 
the sense of meaninglessness that can afflict individuals in the absence of traditional religious or moral frameworks. In modern psychology, this concept is relevant in understanding existential crises and mental health challenges. Nietzsche's ideas can guide individuals and therapists in addressing nihilism by emphasizing the creation of personal meaning and values. While Nietzsche criticized traditional moral systems, he did not reject the concept of ethics altogether. Instead, he proposed a re-evaluation of ethics based on individual values and the pursuit of excellence. In psychology, this approach can inform the development of virtue ethics, a framework that emphasizes the cultivation of virtuous qualities and character strengths as a path to personal growth and well-being. As we continue our exploration of Nietzsche's philosophy and its role in self-discovery, we delve even deeper into the profound insights he offers on this lifelong quest. Nietzsche's perspective on self-discovery transcends the conventional boundaries of psychology. It is a journey that extends beyond the confines of traditional therapy and into the realm of personal transformation. Nietzsche likened the process of self-discovery to navigating a labyrinth, a complex and often perplexing journey within our own minds and hearts. He once said, I tell you, one must have chaos in one, to give birth to a dancing star. In this journey, individuals must confront their own chaos, their fears, insecurities, and doubts. It is in this crucible of self-examination that they have the potential to rise, renewed and transformed, like a phoenix from the ashes. Nietzsche understood that true self-discovery was not merely about self-awareness but about self-transcendence. He famously remarked, Man is something that shall be overcome. This concept challenges us to continually evolve and surpass our current limitations. Nietzsche's philosophy invites us to gaze at the starry night of our own existence and ponder our place in the cosmos. In doing so, we confront the existential questions that drive our quest for self-discovery. Self-discovery, as Nietzsche envisioned it, requires an ongoing process of self-questioning and self-interrogation. It beckons us to ask ourselves the most profound questions. Who am I? What do I value? What gives my life meaning? Nietzsche's idea of becoming who you are encapsulates the essence of self-discovery. It means acknowledging and embracing both our light and our shadow, the aspects of ourselves that we admire and those we may wish to change. Nietzsche's philosophy serves as a guide in this transformative journey. It encourages us to embrace discomfort, uncertainty, and even suffering as catalysts for personal growth. He famously stated, one must still have chaos within oneself to give birth to a dancing star. This embrace of inner chaos, rather than fearing or repressing it, is central to Nietzsche's approach. It means acknowledging that the journey of self-discovery is not always linear. It involves setbacks and breakthroughs alike. In essence, Nietzsche's philosophy reminds us that self-discovery is not a destination but a lifelong odyssey. It calls us to continually explore the depths of our own souls, to question our values, and to strive for authenticity. Nietzsche's words resonate across time, guiding us on a perpetual quest for self-discovery. He understood that in the ever-evolving narrative of our lives, we are both the authors and the protagonists. Ultimately, Nietzsche's philosophy beckons us to recognize our interconnectedness with the universe. In our pursuit of self-discovery, 
we navigate not only the labyrinth of our own minds but also the cosmos of human experience. Nietzsche's philosophy offers a compelling and multifaceted guide to self-discovery within the field of psychology. Modern psychology continues to evolve. Nietzsche's insights remain a valuable resource for those on a journey of self-discovery, inviting us to go beyond good and evil in our quest to understand the depths of the human psyche. If you found this exploration of Nietzsche's philosophy and its relevance in psychology insightful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Thank you for joining us on this philosophical journey.